Hello and welcome to the uh, behind the scenes of our blockbuster machinima entitled Pokecraft. Ben <laughs> planted a minium on the floor because it looked like leaves, unquote. It did, it did. And uh, this is the very, very first part of the behind the scenes. And we're going to show you the set. Yes, we are. Um, you'll probably have realised, but Joel was just flying overhead as I walked through the map. We used leaves um, to mimic the um, the Pokemon like walls when you're in the you know you're in the foresty kind of areas. Yep. I guess you, you, guys, I guess you kind of got that, and you'll probably you'll see um, these are like brown kind of bad awful shrub things. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm they are. Um, we we did edit that. We did edit that to look like tall grass. Um, but Joel deleted his terrain. PNG and restarted it as I did. well. Had to, because someone didn't know how to save it as a PNG with transparency. It's not my fault. I've only got paint. You could have got paint net. It's free. I think it works fine. Um, and for those of you wondering, this chest, which you may have seen, in fact, I think you do see. I think Ben was a bit. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, right. I think you do. There is uh, actually nothing in it. Sorry to break your heart. Uh, um, we, we did make the mistake of deciding <laughs> to build it in a snow biome. So, yeah. like, um, every couple of hours it would start snowing. Mm. And we'd have to clear it all out with diamond shovels. It was very annoying, which is partially the reason why this scene is a little bit, perhaps a little bit weird. I might have wanted to retake, but it snowed pretty much right after we did it. And then I undid the texture pack, and it's a lot of work to get it back. So, we just got very leave that. Stressed. Yeah. Stressed is the word. Well done. So now we'll take you to Thank the you. town we made. We had some fun with some lava along the way, and we had our little sleeping arrangement here. Oh, I put my snowed. bed down first. I'm just, just pointing that out. Uh, we should point out, um, you'll see sponges along the way. The sponge is... You won't. Oh, oh you won't, will you? Oh. Okay. Well, where you say black, there is sponge that we edited yeah. to look so black. So this, this is sponge here. Uh, anyway. So... The town is really, really very simple. Just a square of leaves with some houses in it. A little farm. Uh, two houses here. The house that Ben goes into with the lady who's showering is actually... I'm showering! <laughs> depressingly unshowerful. So yep, yeah, no all, all, pretty much all that happened during that was I was just flying above with control held down, just kind of doing this. Uh, flying above. Another empty house. Ha! Huh? And then a Poke Mart, also depressingly not even empty. enterable. It's very, very empty around here. It's and quite the Poke depressing. Center. The TARDIS Poke Center, which is actually bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> Wait, yes, that's right. Um, okay. Is so then we go past a little playground we had here and into the Poke Center. So this is it. Uh, very, very simple to do. I we were we were gonna have um, some people helping out on this, but they all seem to have disappeared. So, suddenly. so Joel cleverly decided to um, film from about uh, about. We filmed there. from about this angle the whole thing through, and Ben would Ben would swap from skins. The camera wouldn't move during the whole process. Ben would swap from skins and act out his various parts. Um, then he just merged all stuff. the files together. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, using masks and stuff in After Effects, which you'll see a little bit later in this. Um, <laughs> um, this is the computer, by yeah, the way. Yeah, this is no a computer. You Microcomputers are difficult. That's the screen, this is the keyboard, and this is just to give definition. Uh, chairs are quite boring, and behind where the people run out is quite literally just a black... Good lord, it's just a black corridor for me. Ooh, <laughs> it's scary. Um, okay, should we show them the second yep. bit? And now onto the b back of the Poké Center, you would have seen. So the idea is that this part here comes out to here, and then you have this big long corridor. Uh, so this is the mushroom containment facility, with our containing containing mushroom inside it. This sorry. <laughs> this is the aperture science test. Sorry, sorry again. The aperture science testing room with the cake in the middle, and where's it gone, Ben? I, I keep I had to um, cover them up for the filming. Okay, but um, it's in here. Enrico's drug stash. Yeah, and Enrico's drug stash. If any of you get that reference, you will uh, you'll get a hug for being a hardcore fan. <laughs> uh, Enrico's drug stash, and it was actually Enrico. you in the same character model, just throwing cocaine in the air. Well, I'm not really sure if you can see it. Enrico has friends. Enrico does. He's got plenty of friends. He's very uh, sure. Finally, this was just 
Why did we build this? Um, follow me. I don't remember why we built that. That's just over here. Business. Um, and then somewhere in this world. Are you coming? I'm, yeah. I'm hoping Ben's got a longer render distance than me. Yeah, I, I found it. Don't worry. Cool. I'm waiting for the world to load underneath me. Oh, uh, right. Disconnect, reconnect. I don't yeah, that's no, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, so this is just the part where we went into first person, and Ben was just like running, and I ran after him with view bobbing on. So that was just. Where is view bobbing? I just put view bobbing on. Went like this. Uh, so that the screen moves ever so slightly. Just to give that effect of realism. And this is actually all natural. This was built. This was already. All of this was here, except we filled in a little bit down here. We were very um, lucky to find it. Yeah, we were. And then Ben just made a little blender thing of the creeper falling off backwards and such. Nearly died then. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the map, right? Uh, yeah, that, that is about it. Um, we are going to do <coughs> some more in this video with the uh, editing in a Adobe After Effects, Flash, Blender, and maybe a bit of, uh, what's it called, Reason. Reason. Yeah, it's all surprisingly simple. But yeah, we do hope you enjoyed it, and they will be very, very brief behind the scenes because this has taken quite a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, and this, this uh, the thing is holding his hand then. Get out your golden apple. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a Pokeball. The golden apple I just reskinned to be a Pokeball. Which is really, really easy to do. So yeah, that be that. I'll see you guys in the After Effects behind the scenes. And see then we'll see you in various other behind the scenes. Goodbye! Hello everyone and welcome to a really quick behind the scenes of the Adobe After Effects part of our uh, of Machinima. Um, this is going to have to be really quick because I don't have much time. So I'll just tell you the things you need to uh, really know and the frequently asked questions. For the Poke Center scene, um, as we said earlier, it was actually all just one person on the screen at the same time recorded. So these are all three different clips overlaid over each other to look like there's three different people on the screen. And to do that, all we used was masks. So we can just use... Sh that's a shape. That's not a mask. My bad. We just use masks, which allow us to um, cut various parts of the screen up into different sections like that. Uh, which means that we're able to have three people on the screen at the same time and as we said in the original part of this video it was all recorded from the same height Skype has just finished downloading Ben's part of this behind the scenes all recorded from the same height which allowed us to um, avoid any tearing uh, yep transitions were really 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 simple to do it was actually quite criminal we should not have been allowed to do it that easily but we did anyway um, as for things like the dive the creeper dive all ridiculously simple to do. It was basically just involves going into the effects, uh, keying, and then there's a thing called Keylight 1.2, which allows you to remove, say, the color blue from this scene, which allows you to remove the color blue from this scene, which isn't like working. So it's not working, but it normally does. <coughs> that would be why. Yeah, that would be why. <laughs> which allows you to remove the color blue from the scene. Oh, come on! There we go. Just uh, <laughs> to be a bit smaller, actually. Oh, shit. Um, at any point, which basically allowed us to do all the green screening, such as the creeper diving, which I'm just redoing now because it wasn't so great the first time. Uh, so it's a bit smaller, I had to resize it up quite a bit. Um, but that was all really, really simple. Like, most of the effects in this are the easiest things in the world. It's actually painful. But, you know, we don't tell you that. So, yeah, that's just the behind the scenes of the After Effects part. Uh, all really, really easy to do. Yeah, pretty much. Right, see you. Hey guys, Ben here, and I'm going to show you some of the Blender behind Pokecraft. Now, for the run scene, very simple, very straightforward. Just a back and forth animation of the arms and legs. And to add a bit of realism, <laughs> I just move the head slightly, if you see. see. It just turns a little bit, and I think it's this bone, the kind of shoulder, upper body bone, um, just moves a little bit as well to make it look like the shoulders are moving. Um, on Vice Manta Ray I did a free running video and it was just like legs and arms are moving, it looks terrible. So just try, if you're trying to do something like this, try and get as many bones moving at the same time as possible. Because if you, when you're walking it's not just your legs that are moving, kind of like your whole body adapts, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of walking anywhere. But yeah, this is the running scene. Why I decided to green screen the creeper, I don't know. 
Um, somehow Joel managed to fix that in editing. There's the Pokeball. Joel made that. Joel made the image. I just UV mapped it onto a cube. Very straightforward. Then to then we just uh, you know how to do it. You reskin the creeper. I'm assuming you know how to do it. This isn't a tutorial. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the creeper ball chase thing for the dive. I don't even have the dive on here. I'm just gonna. So yeah, we got the the miner running, the Cooper running. Arms, yes, arms. Um, for the arms, all I did was this is Z, by the way. If you want to see skeleton, get out of camera mode. All you have to do is right-click on the body and press Tab. Tab to go into edit mode, or from this drop-down mode, go into edit mode. Then you can delete faces by deleting edges and faces, delete edges and faces, delete edges and faces, you get the idea, delete, I delete the body as well, so in the end all you have is these arms, then, oops, pose mode, make sure you're in pose mode, um, just move these arms back and forward with a, you know, like that, back and forward, and then I just positioned this camera, um, where the body and head would be. So all you would see was the arms, you wouldn't see the legs, I don't know why they're still there. And uh, now I'm going to show you the flash. This is the Pokemon battle that we used, I don't really know what to say. I copied the colours from a Pokemon battle that was recorded on YouTube, Let's Play Pokemon Part 2 was some guy battle was on, credits to him for recording. Uh, for most of the time, I didn't have the text in here, I don't know how to use a typewriter effect on Adobe After Effects yet, but Joel does in After Effects, so I just left this box here in blank for him to overfill, and because at this point around, nothing is really happening on the screen, so he could just pause it and take as much time as he wanted for the typewriter thing, and um, for that bit, to make him black, um, in here I think it is, yep, um, all you have to do is color effect, brightness, on negative 100%, and then over here, brightness is, sorry, yeah, brightness is negative 100%, there's no gradient change, and then it's just normal, again, that's fine, uh, I don't really know what else to, to say, there's a, there's a mask somewhere, that, that's about it really, that, that is about it, okay, um, I'll just show you the Nan Cooper, I guess, let's go out there, nope, uh, Nyan load, uh, for some reason you can't see it. Yep, just a blue background so Joel could chroma key it over the over the video, over the main video, when the TNT moved in the background. People liked the TNT and the whole Nyan Creeper idea, so we just decided to use that again. People people like it, so we used it. Um that's about it flash wise. I will show you reason now I guess. Okay, this is reason. This is what we use to record um, all the Pokemon songs, to make all the Pokemon songs. Uh, it was made using the note blocks, and although that does sound impressive, kind of, when you write it as a description, we didn't record it in-game or anything, we used this thing. See, so that's just a piano at a second. But, if you right-click on this, it's called a advanced sampler, by the way. Um, in it patch, browse samples, and where is Minecraft Gems? It's gone harp. Uh, see, it's the um, harp. It's the note block thing from from Minecraft. Now let's add a zone. You can add Minecraft base. There you go. That was about it. And then, obviously, from there you can make the whole the whole Pokemon, all the Pokemon tunes. Uh, I think that was about it at my end. Joel did all of the editing, I'm sure that's that's interesting to watch. Uh, this program is quite expensive if you're thinking about buying it. There are ways around buying it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Pirate Bay. But yeah, that's about it from my end. I shouldn't have shown you that really, should I? Um, okay, bye-bye.